everyone, welcome back to another episode of Doodling Through Education. Today, for my CC students, this is Cycle 3, Week 15, Science. And for everybody else, that means that we're going to be talking about the atom. And we're going to break down the different parts and talk a little bit about each part of the atom. So before we get started, I wanted to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanted to support Doodling Through Education, you can do so through a link that I put in the comments. It's through a website called Buy Me A Coffee. Without further ado, let's start doodling. Today we are going to be talking about some parts of an atom. The atom is the basic building block for all matter in the universe. Atoms are extremely small and are made up of a few even smaller particles. Atoms are everywhere. You are even made of atoms. Your cat is made of atoms. Your sandwich is made of atoms. Atoms are the smallest particle of matter. They're so small that they cannot be cut or divided. Atoms can make up molecules. Think of a sentence. The words in the sentence are like molecules. The letters in the words are atoms. They're the smallest part of the sentence, but very important. When these atoms come together and combine, they can make words. And when the words combine, they can make sentences. So let's go ahead and break the atom down and go through each of its parts one by one. Let's start in the nucleus. The nucleus is located in the center of the atom and it is made of the smaller parts called protons and neutrons. Now remember, we have spoken about this before. Protons are positively charged particles and the number of protons refer to the atomic number of an element on the table of elements. So, the number of protons in an atom determines what type of element the atom is. Protons are similar in weight to neutrons, which are also part of the structure in the nucleus. But unlike neutrons, which have a neutral charge, protons are positively charged. Protons were discovered by a physicist named Ernest Rutherford, and he made this discovery in 1920. Rutherford is known today as the father of nuclear physics, as he not only discovered that protons exist, but he was also the one who proved that atoms have a nucleus. Because atoms are so tiny and protons only make up just a small part of an atom, Protons are even smaller than that. In fact, if an atom was scaled up to be the size of a basketball stadium, a proton would only be the size of a small marble. Next, let's talk about neutrons. Neutrons, like I said, don't have any charge, and so we say that they are neutral. The neutrons also affect the mass of an atom and interestingly enough they also affect the radioactivity of an atom although we're not going to go into that in this video another job of neutrons is that they are useful for holding the atom together protons are all positively charged so if you think about it they are going to repel each other just like if you bring together the same charges of a magnet the neutrons don't have a charge, and because they are tightly bonded together with the protons, they exert enough force on the protons to hold this nucleus in the center of the atom together. An interesting fact is that the only atom that does not have any neutrons is hydrogen, because it only has one proton, so it's not repelling any other protons in the nucleus. So it doesn't have this problem and can get by without these neutrons. Protons and neutrons are made up of even smaller particles called quarks. 
There are two types of quarks that can be found naturally inside these particles. They are called up quarks and down quarks. Protons are believed to be made up of three quarks total, two up and one down. The last part of the atom that we need to talk about today are electrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles that circle the nucleus of the atom. They circle so fast that they create what's called an electron cloud around the nucleus. Electrons are so small that the mass is not significant and they do not contribute to the mass of an atom. And actually, the mass of an electron is only about one two thousandths the mass of a proton or neutron. Now, remember we have talked about previously that atoms tend to favor being neutrally charged. So there is the same amount of electrons as there are protons in the nucleus of a stable atom. Now, atoms can become unstable, but we're not going to dive into that in this video. So overall, this is the basic structure of an atom. And that is all we have for today. As always, I want you to dive in deeper and learn more about atoms. Try and figure out the history of Ernest Rutherford and what led to his discovery of the proton and how monumental this was for physicists around the world. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.